Hi everyone, in this video, I will share insights about the Q4 luxury home market in Singapore. The first major luxury non-landed project in the core central region after the April 2023 cooling measures, Watton House received a strong reception from the market during its private preview on 18th November 2023. Watton House sold 102 out of 180 units at an average price of 3,230 PSF. It is the first launch in the prime Shelford area in more than 10 years. More than 30 of the units sold are large format units which are sought after but limited in supply. 96% of the 102 buyers are Singaporeans and permanent residents, which underscores the depth in liquidity of local buyers. Transactions of luxury non-landed homes in Q4 2023 jumped almost 90% from the previous quarter to 70 units. The top-selling luxury non-landed projects in 2023 are Les Maisons Nassim, Goodwood Residence, Klimkan Hill, Bishopsgate Residences, Nassim Park Residences, and Skyline at Orchard Boulevard. Based on caveats, the most expensive unit sold was an 8,633 square foot unit in Les Maisons Nassim, sold to a U.S. national for $45 million. It took the crown again for the highest per square foot price of 5,727 PSF for a 6 to 286 square feet unit. The luxury non-landed homes rental market saw lesser leasing transactions in Q4 2023 due to the year-end lull. An estimated 549 luxury non-landed homes in Hutton's Data Analytics Luxury Homes Basket were rented out in Q4 2023. This is 21.7% lower than Q3 2023. In 2023, landlords rented out 2,451 luxury non-landed homes. That's 9.8% lesser than 2022. Average rents of luxury non-landed homes in Hutton's Data Analytics Luxury Homes Basket contracted in Q4 2023 by 15.2% quarter-on-quarter. The contraction in rents was due to a higher proportion of three-bedroom units, which pulled down the average rents. For the whole year, Rents of luxury non-landed homes were up by 16% to $15,395 per month. Transactions of good class bungalow stabilized in Q4 2023. An estimated six GCBs were sold in Q4 2023, including the GCB at 23rd Avenue owned by Hin Leong founder. The total value of GCBs sold in Q4 2023 was $132.4 million. That's 90.4% higher than the previous quarter. Buyers remained cautious due to the economic uncertainties and high interest rates. An estimated 20 GCBs were sold in 2023, and that's 58.3% lesser than 2022. Transacted value of the GCBs in 2023 stood at $727.2 million, which is 47.9% lower than 2022. Most of the GCB's deals in 2023 were in the range of 20 to 30 million as buyers stayed prudent and are not willing to pay over the top prices for a GCB. The top deals by Quantum in the GCB market in 23 are listed in the table. The top GCB deal was in the Nassim Road GCB area, which were bought by the Fangiono family behind Singapore-listed palm oil producer First Resources from Cuscadan Peak Investments. The number of rental transactions in the GCB areas were lower by 55.6%, as some owners stayed wary of renting to foreigners. The highest transacted rent was $112,000 per month for a detached house in the Ridout Park GCB area. Interest in Singapore's luxury non-landed homes appeared to be going up. Based on recent caveats, two units at the Ritz-Carlton Residences Singapore Cairnhill were sold for close to $5,400 PSF in January 2024. Both units were bought by Chinese PRs. The number of inquiries from Chinese buyers have increased in January 2024, and many of them have made appointments to view properties during the Chinese New Year period. The GCB market in 2024 is likely to remain similar to 2023, as many sellers continue to hold firm on their asking prices. Interest may pick up in second half of 2024 if there are cuts to interest rates. That's all for the Q4 2023 update on the luxury homes market in Singapore. My name is PK So from Hutton's. If you're looking for spacious big units, please reach out to me and I would be able to share even more insights with you. Thank you.